Hi, I am Michael, a technical marketing engineer for Intersight. And in this video, I will be talking about advanced mappings in Intersight orchestration. Essentially, that means we're going to be talking about templating. Now, to get started, I already built a workflow with two tasks. And the first thing we want to do, we want to map this virtual switch name input to a workflow input but we want to do a bit of templating. So we're going to note down this reference name for the workflow input. And then we go back and we map the input through an advanced mapping. And the way we do that is by adding two curly braces. And then we refer to the workflow input by dot global dot workflow dot input. And then we add the name of the workflow input. And now we can add something like dash example. So all of our inputs will now have this dash example appended to them. So that's how we can do basic templating. Now let's say we want to use the output of this task. So let's take virtual switch the output and let's say we want to map it to the input in the next task. The first thing we're going to need, we're going to need the, the reference name, new virtual switch one. That's the reference name for this task. And that's how we refer to it in the input of the next task. So here we refer to the virtual switch in the advanced mapping by going and adding our two curly braces. Then we add dot global, the name of the task, dot output, and then the name of the output. And now we just mapped to a task output. Now, most of the time you can just use a direct mapping for that. Well, Let's look at a completely different scenario now. Here in this workflow, we have a volume ID as a workflow input, and we want to map that volume ID to this volume ID field. But you can see it's a complex input. So we want to map the first part statically and the second part dynamically. To achieve that, we're going to first enter a static value, save it, and then we're going to navigate to the code view and we're going to look for the definition inside of the code view. So you can see here, this is the representation of what we just configured. It's actually just a JSON structure. So we're going to copy it. We're going to go into the designer and we're going to edit the mapping. And in, in the advanced mapping, we're going to copy the JSON structure. And then what we're going to do, where we now hard coded the volume ID, we're going to replace that with an advanced mapping to a workflow input. So remember dot global dot workflow dot input and the name of the workflow input. Now I hope this has been helpful for you.